electrical burns. This facility is deserted. What happened? You mean before or after that Jedi showed up? Either way, it's a real short story. You see, this Jedi shows up, and you know what that means. Where there's one Jedi, the Republic will soon be crawling up your ion engine in no time. But the story gets better. See, some of the miners get it into their ferrocrete skulls that since the Jedi's unconscious, they can collect the bounty the exchange has posted for live Jedi. Well, what passes for the law here didn't like that idea. So the two groups started fighting. Then there was some big explosion, and then I was sitting here for a long time, waiting for some half-naked miner to show up and ask a bunch of questions. There's a bounty you can only capture Jedi? Why? Don't know much about it. Maybe the Exchange wants one as a trophy, or somebody's got something against Jedi and is looking to collect. Not many Jedi left. Wouldn't surprise me if the bounty's pretty high. Not many Jedi left? What happened to them? The ones that weren't killed in the Jedi Civil War ended up switching off the lightsabers long ago. Word is there's not even a Jedi Council anymore, but who knows. The stories I heard were of the Sith, not the Jedi. Yeah, Revan, Malak, and the Jedi that went to join them in the Mandalorian Wars. They turned against the other Jedi and had a scrap that almost laid waste to the galaxy. <laughs> Where have you been? What happened between Revan and Malak? Well, I wasn't there, but like all Sith, Revan and Malak turned on each other. After they turned on the Jedi, of course. I was led to believe that Revan saved the Jedi and the Republic. I guess. There's rumors all over space about it. All I heard was Revan returned to pay Malak back for trying to kill her in the first place. You know women. Been in that cage. Revan was a man, not a woman. Maybe you're right. Maybe I just hope Revan was a woman. Doesn't even make sense. What? <laughs> All right. I had some more questions for you. Look, no offense or anything, but your weird half-naked interrogation isn't my idea. Hey, wait a minute. You're that Jedi the miners were talking about. Where is everybody? Don't you know what happened to them? From my beautiful view in the security cage. Look, I heard some explosions, some emergency alarms, some toxic gas pouring out of the vents. Maybe none of them survived whatever happened. And if they're all gone... Look, hey, let me out and I can help you. I can. I've gotten out of trouble countless times. Tell me your plan and we can go from there. This facility isn't a military installation, which means we may have a chance. You shut down the cell security field and I can reroute the emergency system so we can get to the hangars. We grab a ship, and then we fly out of here. One thing first. The patients in the medical bay were killed with lethal dose sedatives. Know anything about that? Huh? What are you talking about? Nothing. I trust you. Let me, out of, let me get you out of the cage, and we can work together to get out of this mess. Great. Now to business. Let's get to the command console. Alright, let's go. Alright, here we are. Now this console is set on automatic hail. You may have heard it when you came in. The asteroid drift charts are constantly being updated. So it sends out a transmission to incoming vessels so they don't get crushed into space dust. The hail warns them to keep their distance until orbital drift charts are transmitted and then provides docking instructions to incoming ships, usually freighters. Thing is, you can bounce that same transmission back to the comm here, and suddenly you've got access to the communication system from the inside. Pure pizzack. Console's ours. Now all we need to do is reactivate the turbo lifts, cancel the emergency lockdown, and... Hey! Sounds like you're about to tell me something I don't want to hear. This system's been severed from the main hub, after it was locked down from remote. You can't even reroute the system, it's been cut clean. That wouldn't be standard procedure in an emergency lockdown. No. Someone tried to lock down this whole level tight and leave us here. Trapped. Is there anything else we can do with the console? I doubt it. All we have is communications back. For all the good trying to shout in a vacuum will do us. Can we contact the miners? We could try. But if the miners were trying to trap you up here and probably kill you, why not call them and chat? I don't think a friendly call is going to wake them up.
Maybe there's something logged in the terminal that can give us some answers. Be my guest. Not much else we can do. The comm's all yours. destroyed when it drifted into the asteroid field. Not much on board. One damaged droid, one annoying protocol droid, and a lot of bodies. Sent the survivor to medical and the others to the morgue. Didn't recognize the ship's ID code, so we transmitted it to the Republic for some answers. Questioned the protocol droid about what happened. Says his master, the survivor, I guess, was on the Republic ship, the Harbinger, when it suffered an engine failure. He says the survivor was a passenger on the vessel and a Jedi. If so, that's gonna mean truth. Inventory the bodies and cargo. Everything matches the protocol droid story. The T3 droid seized up, so we left it in storage and standby mode. Don't know what code will access it. It could be its voice activated for all we know. We put the protocol droid to work in maintenance, sorting the mining droid comm routines and updating the recognition sensors. And to shut him up. When the survivor recovers, hopefully we can get him off this station before this... Trouble between the work shifts. Word of the Jedi leaked out, and the miners aren't sure what to do with him. Corda's mining crew wanted us to collect the credits for the bounty the Exchange has on Jedi, but I put a stop to that. We're contacting Telos to get the Republic records on the Jedi, but nobody will know no word from the Republic. But I've sent out a broadcom transmission for records on this Ebon Hawk. One of the miners said it used to be a smuggling vessel. Accidents are making the miners restless. The droid behavior course must be undergoing some kind of binary decay. Two miners were drilled by a droid's mining laser, and those blasts in the ventilation tunnels nearly caused the whole facility to blow. up here. Uh, all the stuff that I can equip. Alright. 